We've been building our house since June of 2021. And now it's time to do something on the build that we've been putting off for a while. Ryan's a little bit nervous because he gets to go up on the roof. Although we may have gotten Ryan feeling safe up on the ladder, we can't say that he was comfortable. Yeah, there was one position, especially where the boys were having to support the whole operation. Follow along as we make progress on our house venting systems. We're halfway there with the holes in our roof. And if you haven't already, be sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss a moment of the build. scared to nail it in yeah why are you afraid to nail it in because then 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 we have a hole in our roof so it's kind of like yeah okay well that makes it a little more real huh uh-huh all right we are installing the bathroom exhaust fan vent this means we have to put a hole into our roof and then get that ducting ran up to the vent and then we should be all good ryan's a little bit nervous because he gets to go up on the roof and run some tools so we're gonna get him all set so we feel safe and ready to do this Bring you things might be the best. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Were you gonna go a little bit lower than the thing or higher than? I, it's right in the middle of a chorus of shingles, so I kind of oh, okay. kind of like where it's at. Oh. Oh. Smidge bigger. So Sarah's in the house. She put the uh, the flash the ducting up through the roof. I've got a couple of little tabs here so I can secure it to the roof, and then we'll be ready to put the vent on. All right, now it fits like butter. And 
ended up not being as fun as I thought it was going to be. What? But this part's all done? I think so. As good as I'm going to get it anyway. All right. I think it looks great. It was fun being stuck in that position, it sounds like. Yeah. Yeah, there was one position, especially where the boys were having to support the whole operation. It's a good thing they were there for you. <laughs> Seems like it would have been better to be a lady at that point. I guess she could have put me up there. All right, we got that vent in the roof all installed, and I was thinking that that was the last hole we had to put in our roof, but Ryan did say that we have one more that will go on our other side for our water heater exhaust. But we're halfway there with the holes in our roof. Now we just need to hook up the exhaust fan from that bathroom in the lower floor up to go out to the roof, and we'll be done with this project. And also our other wall heater came that we're gonna put in the downstairs bathroom. So I think Ryan may be hooking that up Why I'm doing the vent system, and then we can just cross off a lot of things from our list. So we're making progress. All right, so we received the thermostat that will go into the downstairs bathroom, and we also received the heater. So Sarah is working on the last remaining HVAC line while I get this switch put in and get the heater installed. So we're gonna kind of double up on our work here, see if we can get two things knocked out in a real quick amount of time, and then be off for the weekend. Crimp it a little bit just to get it as far as I want it. I think the crimper is my favorite tool so far. same thing that we did with the other stuff just cut off a length of that straight stuff so we have a longer piece yeah that might be the best thing to do all right so we tried to use the connector piece that can connect two pieces together it was too short once it went through the hole so i made this piece out of a longer piece um cut it crimped both edges now i'll put this one in and can connect both pieces of that flex ducting and then this exhaust fan will be done. How much is stick it out, Ryan? We have our hot leads coming from the panel right here. We have our line going up to the other bathroom right here. And then this is gonna be our switch leg. So I have some pigtails here that I will use so that I can wire this into the switch for the line side. And then the other side will go get connected to uh, from the switch down to the heater. And then our power will continue up where I have another switch just like this one for our upstairs bathroom. So. I'm gonna get this put together so we have our heaters done. breaker and bathroom heaters done done you know, son we've, we've had awesome. more than enough cold bathroom time in our life so we're ready 
All right, I just got done wiring up the heater in the kids' bathroom. So now I'm gonna go over to the panel and get it wired up. I already have the breaker installed in the panel. I got my leads coming up here. So now it's time to turn off the power to the breaker, to the box, so that I can get the ground wired in and get my two hot leads wired into the breaker. And then we should be set to test our two new heaters. All right, we just got that finished up. So now time to get the power turned on. Make sure everything's wired up correctly. All right, get the breaker turned on. Now let's go see if we get some heat out of this guy. And heat coming out. Sounds like we are in business. Now let's go check the upstairs one, make sure that my wiring up to the top bedroom is still working. And then our heaters, okay, cross off the list. All right, this heater's working fine. So I think we are done with our heater installs. All right, I have that vent put in that completes our ERV system. It was basically completed, but we were waiting on that 90 vent. And I also had that ducting all ran from the exhaust fan in this bathroom. So that means exhaust fans are done. We can cross that one off the list too. And that's where we're gonna leave you guys for this episode. If you liked it, be sure to hit that like button and we'll see you on the next one.